Magenta Canada and CNM Seeds present the Wheat School on RealAgriculture.com. So we're out here in a wheat field. The wheat crop in Ontario is absolutely excellent this year. I'm really impressed with how it came through the winter. We normally have around 7 to 8 percent winter damage reports. This year we're under 2 percent and a lot of that injury actually up in the, the far north for us, up in that Temiskaming district. So kind of an area that isn't a typical winter wheat production area. Unusual for them to have injury, but still very, very small. And you can see by this wheat field that we're standing in, the wheat looks absolutely gorgeous. So what can we learn out in the wheat field this time of year? Well, the first thing is you need to start looking at your weed control. A lot of producers now starting to do weed control. It's actually about the right time to do weed control if you're after the annual weeds. So things like ragweed have germinated. We have a lot of spreading atriplex and lamb's quarters out there. All those things need to be controlled. In this particular wheat field, there's also, even though it looks gorgeous and it is a beautiful wheat field, there's a real lesson because when we look down in the canopy, what do we see? But we're down here and we've got all sorts of dandelions uh, th and those dandelions have already caused the yield loss that they're going to cause because the wheat now has gone past its, its vegetative st stage. It's now into the reproductive stage. The head is up here in the stem and so it's already set the head. These dandelions already did their damage in terms of reducing the yield. And the problem is that this field was just sprayed in the last two or three days. These dandelions needed to be killed last fall. I find it really intriguing that at some of our agribusiness meetings, the people that, that are in the know, that work behind the counter at Thompson's, at the co-op, at, at Cargill, they're telling me that less than 5% of the wheat acres in Ontario get a fall herbicide. That is simply unacceptable. It says Johnson the wheat guy is a lousy extension guy because he's talked to you about this before. These things hurt yield. They're easy to kill in the fall. Right now it's called revenge spraying. There's some shepherd's purse in this field as well that I saw. It's already gone to seed. Chickweed, it's a non-issue. It should have been controlled last fall. So that's one of the things. The other thing that you should be looking at is the uniformity of, of your nitrogen application. So you can see in this field that it's a nice even green across the whole field. It really does look like we've got an excellent job of nitrogen application here. We also start to look at, at timing of nitrogen. So this wheat right now is at growth stage 31. That means that the first node, I can just feel that first node, it's about an inch above the ground. And that's getting into about the start of where we would apply the second nitrogen application if we were going to do a split nitrogen application. Just enough that we've already started that stem elongation and we, we don't get as much lush growth in the early canopy, so we improve our standability, we improve our protein levels, and hopefully we get this nice yield bump that we're, that we're chasing as well. We're not sure the yield bump's there, but it's certainly something we're after. So some really cool stuff here. Don't forget, have a look at other things. If you stand up again, you can kind of look down those rows and you may not be able to see this on the camera, but those are paired rows. They're actually sort of two rows together and then a little wider gap, and two rows together and a little wider gap. Gosh, when we're doing it, why don't we do it right? Let's get them seven and a half inches apart. And all that is, is that the gang on the drill is a little bit out of alignment. So a simple fix if you want to do that right. Look for disease right now in this particular wheat crop. There's almost no disease whatsoever. There's a little bit of, of frost injury here on the tip of one leaf from way long ago. But this is a nice clean field. Uh, next week, growth stage 32 would be a really good time for the first fungicide application. And then let's watch the crop just take off and go from here. Mm -hmm. 